Oi oh, everyone, stick here from Maple Studio. How you all doing? Uh, a real quick little video because I'm off for two weeks now, so I can't wait. And I'm in a holiday for eight years, so it's ching. Can't wait, 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 wait. Pull beer food. Wicked. Pull the way back on. Yeah, it's a lad. Anyway, a uh, quick little video because I get asked quite a lot how I record the audio for my bass demos. Um, oh, actually, I get asked quite a lot as well what cameras I use. Cameras, nothing flashy. I use Canon. HFM 46s, these little bad boys, don't know if that's coming out on there. Um, I use them with the Raynox wide angle lens, a uh, little lens adapter there, and yeah, yeah, just set them to the highest possible setting. Most of the time, I just set them to auto and make sure the lighting in the room is good, and they seem to deliver a really, really good quality video. Cheap as chips, well, not as chips because chips are only one pound a portion, but these are like, I don't know, 350 quid, or well, they were when I bought them at the time. Um, They've probably been superseded by another model now anyway. But yeah, great little cameras. I've got two of those on the go. And I've got an older um, Canon camera as well that sometimes I use with a fisheye lens. Uh, so that's that side of it. Sound-wise, I use a Rode NT2 shotgun mic pointing down at me usually um, to capture all the speech and process that in logic um, to taste, usually using the Sonox uh, EQ to sweep the low, boost highs a little bit, and make sure my voice sounds good, and then use the dynamic plug-in, uh, mainly for compression, and perhaps a little bit of warmth, and perhaps a limiter, just to make sure nothing creeps through. That's it, nothing flashy. Um, then bass-wise, um, I use the DBX, this is actually the D10, the, the uh, passive one, but I use the DB12, active DI box, split the signal, so my in the room I use the um, whatever amp I'm using at the moment, got some wicked amps on loan to me from Ashdown, which is the, got the EB220 at the moment, uh, 1x15 combo, I use that in for the, my room reference, um, and then the signal that I record is just the direct out, so it goes straight into Logic, recorded at 48k, goes into well, it goes in via Fireface 800, um, so I tweak the gain to make sure I've got a good strong signal, Fireface 800, straight into Logic 10 now, uh, recording at 48k, and that's pretty much it. Um, in the signal chain within Logic, I put the um, Slate Digital VCC uh, plug-in across all the inputs, and uh, obviously group them, so I'm running a, a, a console emulation. Uh, usually use the uh, 4K console emulation there. I think that plug-in is just phenomenal, really, really recommend it. Uh, so affordable, and it can make a uh, massive difference to all your mixes, all your recordings. Um, and then, yeah, straight in there, uh, then it's a Waves um, L1 limiter, just to make sure I've got a good strong signal, no clipping creeping through, and then th out through the output bus, that's it. Um, so nothing fancy going on at all. And the reason I do that is I just want to highlight or try and capture the tone of the instrument for you guys. It's not about my playing, I'm not a monster bass player, um, but I think the way I record these videos give you a very good indication of how a bass sounds. So you're going to know if something is old school sounding, or if it's something is really clean and trebly, um, you know, how the pickups sound in their positions. That's what I'm trying to deliver. And I, and I hope, and the feedback as a rule seems to be, that, you know, I'm, I seem to achieve that. You guys seem to really like the videos, which is excellent. So um, that's it. A real quick little video for you, just saying how I record the audio for my bass videos. Um, like I say, hope you like them. Keep leaving your comments and your feedback. It's all really appreciated. And if you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel and stay up to date with um, everything that goes out there. As you guys know, some drum stuff, some band stuff, some bass stuff, some recording stuff, all sorts. Um, so you never know what's coming next. Stick out. Bye. <laughs>